What is the worst part about gymnastics? These guys. Breaking in new grips is my least favorite thing about gymnastics. I got them on after some fighting. They feel awful. They're not broken in. They're stiff, very short. Do you like me to call the wambulance? Yes. This is my least favorite part. Maybe you quit doing bars. Maybe I should. Oh. Oh, oh they're so gross. This is just for reference. They're the same size. But look at how much longer and how much more broken in it is. Doesn't even look like the same grip, does it? Worst thing, breaking in new grips. Look at how much fun that is. It's Chelsea and I am here with Jojo Velasquez, professional action sports athlete. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to teach Jojo three skills that are essential in the gymnastics world. Yep, we are going, wait, did you say essential? <laughs> essential, yes. We're gonna do that and I'm gonna try not to get hurt today. <laughs> First thing we're gonna start off with is the round off back tuck. I know he's got a decent back tuck and a pretty solid round off. So we're gonna put them together. Let's see it. But we should start with the round off, right? So. Yeah, just round off. Yeah, I felt that one. That one felt yeah. good. Is it normal to see stars? <laughs> Maybe it's because you're seeing Chelsea, the star. <laughs> yeah, the star, the star of the show. <laughs> Very graceful. <laughs> I did 360 out of it. I still enjoyed it. <laughs> yes. Ooh, I stuck that. <laughs> yes. that was it. Hey, that's one down. That was one. I loved it. I, I really would like to get JoJo on the balance beam, and I'm thinking with a car wheel. A car wheel on the balance beam. <laughs> Off the beam. Keep your eye on the beam. Just like baseball. Find the ball. Eye on the beam. Here we go. Yes. Solid first one. I was definitely able to spot the, the beam there. That's oh. crazy. That was closer. I'm only worried about my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing. That's valid. Hey, we got a foot on. This is the one. Okay, feeling it. <laughs> feeling it. That was the worst. <laughs> so the level four, this is in the level four compulsory music team. Okay, so this is like 10, 12 year olds. <laughs> Can be. A little younger too. A little younger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. And that was a cartwheel, like imagine doing other things. Oh, you did so great on your cartwheel. Oh. I think I got it. What are you thinking I do over this? I was either thinking the front handspring or like the round off style. Since okay. Sticking with the cartwheel of the round off, I think. Heck yeah. That would be. I think I ran off. also go into the pit too. Okay, so it seems like I'm going to be running to this thing, whatever you call it, jumping over the mushroom and doing a round off of it. <laughs> That's the general idea. Are you 
we go. She goes, yes. <laughs> of course I could. Yes, but I thought that was an excellent start. He's tiny with feet, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Over the top. Totally. That tuck? <laughs> oh my gosh. No, that was, that was great. But yes, you're right with timing. So all of the gymnasts have like the same starting point. They know exactly where they're going to yeah. start. How many steps they take. Like I count my steps every single right. time. Crazy. Yeah. And that's not, that's not even superstition either. That's just like actually the calculation. Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. I, uh, I learned three things today. Round off back tuck, cartwheel on the beam, and uh, round off over the mushroom. <laughs> Vault table. Vault table. Yeah, so what level does that make me gymnast? <laughs> You're kind of all over the board. We're like a level four on beam, the level fives do the back tucks on floor. <laughs> And the level sixes and sevens do the soup timers. So ready for the Olympics, I'd say no. <laughs> but a better gymnast today, I'd say yes. Yeah. So thank you, that was Th cool. Thank you, I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Sweet. Hey guys, so I completely forgot to do the recap of the week when I was at the gym. So you get to see a teeny bit more of my house. Um, but it was, it was a pretty good week of training. My ankle was a little bit sore this week, so took it easy on some of the tumbling. Monday felt good. It was just a good day of training, vaulting up. Beam. Just doing, getting the numbers in on beams, trying to string, you know, all this stuff together. Wednesday, Wednesday felt good. Vault was decent, had some good fulls. Yeah. How it beat, how it felt. Did a, a double, it was, it was okay, but the fulls have been really good. Beam was good, putting the routines together with almost everything still don't have the front half of the popa but everything else is in there so it's feeling good to start getting a rhythm and building up endurance for all of the skills coming together on the beam with the dance <laughs> did five timers big layouts back to back on the rod floor just kind of built again building up with like the endurance on floor and bars still just working on you know, getting those skills, being comfortable with, with all of those elements. Friday did kind of, I 
don't want to say mock meat, but a little bit of that were warmed up and then showed wherever I was at on that particular event. So vault warmed up and showed a nice full um, and had the mats a little higher, a little more solid instead of just landing on the pit pillow. And then theme warmed up and did the routine without the front half and the popa. Took a little rest spot here and there, rest before the Arabian and rest before the dismount, but that slowly those go away once you get in the rhythm and have all of that skill endurance. Um, so I'm not worried about that. It's a really good place to be in right now. Floor, again, dance through um, with the leaps and jumps, and I felt good about that. And those are starting to get easier. I'm not as winded at the end of dance throughs, which is good. And bars, um, still a lot of the single skills, but they felt good. I warmed up a good, a good shabash. Um, then they were not good. The next one that I tried to show, my foot kind of got stuck, so I caught it, but I couldn't do anything after it. And then the next one, I didn't put my toes on enough and didn't even barely got over the bar. So it was a good thing that I at least got over the bar enough and not landed on the bar. So that was a fun way <laughs> to, to end my bar workout. But all in all, it was a good week um, and I'm feeling good about my progress. And thank you again so much for following along on this journey. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next week. Oh, pardon Lucy. Did you want to help me? This is Lucy. One of one of my three pups. <laughs>